Violence in Rakhine state, which began on 25 August 2017, has driven an estimated 671,500 Rohingya across the border into Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh. The speed and scale of the influx has resulted in a critical humanitarian emergency. The people who have arrived in Bangladesh since 25 August came with very few possessions. They are now reliant on humanitarian assistance for food and other life-saving needs. Rohingya population in Kaksis Bazar is highly vulnerable. After a generation of statelessness, even before the severe traumas inflicted by this most recent crisis, they are now living in extremely difficult conditions. Population movements within Cox's Bazar remain fluid, with increasing concentration in Okia, where the government allocated 2,000 acres for a camp. People arrived at the new site before infrastructure and services could be established. Humanitarian partners are now building necessary infrastructure in challenging conditions with extremely limited space. Six hundred seventy one thousand and five hundred arrivals since August two thousand seventeen are reported as of fifteen March. According to the International Organization for Migration, Needs and Population Monitoring Round Date Site Assessment. As of eighteen March two thousand eighteen, the RRRC family counting exercise, supported by UNHCR, has counted eight hundred thirty six thousand and two hundred ten refugees in total in camps and settlements including arrivals both before and after August 2017. Bangladesh government, several international, national and local NGOs have been serving in the area to address the basic needs of the refugees. They have been providing education, food, nutrition, protection, non-food items, shelter, site management, and wash facilities. During our visit to the camp on 19 June 2018, we have observed a very limited response to the healthcare needs of the refugees. Presently, there are only 54 health centers, which is 1 per 24,074 refugees, 10 hospitals, which is 1 per 130,000 refugees. There is very high risk of disruptions in reproductive health care and prenatal care or supervised delivery, worsening malnutrition, vector burn, and diarrheal diseases, including JE, dengue, chikungunya, typhoid fever, hepatitis E, leptospirosis, malaria, dysentery, influenza virus infection, severe mental health impact of violence, etc. Medium risk is observed in diphtheria, HIV, TB, COPD, asthma, etc.
Though it is not possible for the church to come up with a massive solution, the local church is deeply concerned about the fact and assessing possibility of founding a mini health center near the camp area.